Pierre Hermé Boutique near Saint-Sulpice to sample the winning first place croissant in my video, Meet the Number One Croissant in Paris. There are other astonishing breads close by. Let's go to one of them in this part one. La Parisienne Bakery is at the corner of Rue Madame and Rue de Vaugirac. Their baguette named La Parisienne won first place in the annual Best Baguette in Paris competition. But many have wondered if this winning baguette has not been ranked by this competition recently, does it mean that this baguette is no longer as good? No. At La Parisienne, local Parisians still line up for their bread. In fact, this competition rarely awards the same bakery twice. Although at times a bakery's winning baguette can decline later, most often it happens when that bakery has a new owner. The Best Baguette competition has strict requirements which include each baker must submit two baguettes which meet the French government's law for the specific baguette called a baguette tradition. French law decrees that a baguette tradition can only be made of flour, leavening, salt and water, so no preservatives. Bread bakers often use artisanal ways like sourdough to ferment the dough naturally to get these baguettes to rise. Although this leavening process is much slower than using commercial yeast, an advantage is that it tends to develop more complex layers of flavor and aroma. By the way, the bakery which wins first place gets to supply the President of France and the Elysee Palace with their baguettes for one year. So what qualities do bread experts look for in a superior baguette? A rich complex smell and taste. They mention that 200 different volatile molecules have been found in finer French breads, which makes them more complex than wine in their chemistry. And they use words in a way similar to wine experts to describe these 200 different flavor notes. Words such as a hint of caramel and an undertone of nuts. Also, the inside of a baguette should be a cream color, and the crumbs should have large and small holes which reveal if the baguette was well leavened. On the outside of the baguette, the crust color should have shades of brown and yellow which show if it was well baked. Even the sound of it gets evaluated. There should be a crunching sound when the baguette is squeezed gently. By the way, there are other things that can contribute to the reasons that France's baguettes tend to have a different taste than baguettes elsewhere. Among those things is that there's typically wild yeast in the air of a French bakery, which helps with bread making. Another is that many French bakeries use a different variety of wheat. I love how at most Paris bakeries, I can ask for only half of a baguette. At La Parisienne Boulangerie, to request a half of their first place winning baguette, one asks for une demi La Parisienne. My pleasure only increases if I go eat it in Luxembourg Garden, its northern edge only a five minute walk down Rue de Vaugirard. In my upcoming part two of this video, I'll take you to a place near Saint-Sulpice with unusually complex, world-renowned bread. For links to some of my other videos, look below this video screen.